In this video, I'm going to go over how to set up a book style project with the subfiles package using the different templates, which I've included in my configuration for writing LaTeX documents in NeoVim. So to begin with, let's open up the terminal. And right now I'm in my home folder. If I open NeoVim, then I can use the Explorer, so space E, to go into uh, documents and I'll just create a uh, test folder here. So this is going to be the main project folder. Um, yeah, let's force replace that, um, deleting the previous version I had. Um, and okay, so let's inside test, um, I'm going to add a central project file called root.tech and the name is important. Um, you could change these names, but you would then have to um, change the template, which I have accordingly. So I'm just going to stick to the conventions I have so far. Um, I'm also going to create um, a folder for chapters. And then inside chapters, I'm going to create uh, chapter one and create chapter two. OK, and then inside chapter one, I'm going to do lowercase a for chapter one dot tech, so creating a file. And then inside chapter two, same thing, lowercase a to create chapter, oops, let's call this chapter two.tech. Okay, so that gets um, the directory structure all set up um, for this project test. Um, let's open up root. Um, so here I can use the template, so t, and now it's gonna be um, r for root. Okay. And then I'm going to do something similar for chapter one, um, space uh, T, and now S for subfile, and save that. And then um, let's go back into here, chapter two, um, and space T and S for subfile. Okay. Um, okay, great. So I have all my different. Uh, files I'll set up um, and let's now make a project for this so I'm going to go into sessions so capital S and then lowercase s for save sessions and I'm going to call this test okay and let's quit out of this so um, oh I think I already have one called test so let's save session um, yeah, let's call it test one. Okay. And um, now let's quit out of this and let's open up NVIM. Okay, let's go into test one. Okay, so there we are with all the different um, f files that we have open. Um, and we're now able to build this, so space B. And let's maximize this. Okay, it is a little slower typically building um, the entire document, but much of the point of this is that you don't have to do that that often. Um, so, but first let's get a sense of the whole document. So we have the title, um, abstract, you can change this if you like, you can um, change abstract to forward or preamble or whatever you want. Um, it has a table of contents which generates uh, by itself, which is really nice, and they're all hyperlinked. So if I click on one of these hyperlinks, it'll take me to chapter one, which is just right below. And if I click back on the title of chapter one, or indeed the title of any of these hyperlinked section titles, it takes me back to the table of contents. And that's really convenient because then it's easy to move around the document. I can check out this section, and then I can jump back, and I can go check out this section in chapter two, and I can jump back, and so on. So really easy way to navigate uh, the PDF. Um, OK, so that's the what the entire document will look like. Um, if once you add citations and so on, you also have a bibliography down at the bottom. You can see that down here. So it'll add a bibliography. Um, OK, but we can also just build one of these documents. So let's do that, space B. Um, OK, and let's do space P. Um, OK, so just by saving this document, it will auto-generate. And I am inside the total document, um, but it'll build a lot faster. So 
that's pretty convenient. So just to give some sense of that, uh, let's say uh, change inner brace, let's do um, whatever, uh, chapter title. Okay. Um, okay, and it's changed that and so on. So anyways, that gives you some sense of how this, so basically I can just spend a lot of time inside this you know, fairly small document and then similarly inside this fairly small document and then when I want to build the whole thing I can uh, build this document. Okay, so that is the subfiles package, uh, not, not too complicated. Um, if you want to make any changes to the templates that I have, um, it's worth checking that out. So let's do, uh, let's inside Tmux, I'm gonna create a new window here. And I'm gonna go into, yeah, config, NeoVim, templates. That's where everything is saved. Let's see what's in there. Okay, so I have um, a bunch more templates than are listed. Uh, let's, just to give you some sense, let's go into templates. So here I only have a few of those, I think seven. Um, okay, let's get out of that. Um, whereas here there's a few more. Um, but nevertheless, let's say we want to change root. So you do nvim uh, root.tech, okay. So this is the actual template file itself. And you know if you want to change my name to yours, you can do that here. Um, there's a few places, I think there's one other place, yeah. My name also shows up there, um, and so on. You can make any sort of uh, adjustments you want or clean up this file a bit. There's a bunch of commented out stuff which um, I haven't turned on and which you may never turn on, um, or other stuff that you want to add, uh, which I've not yet included. Um, so, so yeah, anyways, that is how you would you would do that. So let's quit out of there. And then similarly for the uh, subfiles, um, fairly simple one, but yeah, you can add different stuff uh, to this. Um, one thing to notice is that I have left um, the bibliography inside each subfile. And this is often useful, but you can turn these off uh, if you prefer. Um, I do have it set to no bibliography. Um, so it's not gonna build a bibli bibliography at the bottom of each chapter, um, but it's just a, it can be useful for calling um, just different citations inside this document. So yeah, if I want to cite something, I can do, I can use cite and it will know exactly where to look looking up the different citations for my, um, from my Zotero database. Okay, let's go back, let's cut out of that. Okay, so that gives you some sense of how to uh, use the subfiles package to build um, uh, book-like projects.